Apple's Earth Moving Machinery Sound Power Determination Type 7883 is a new standard solution from BNK supporting standards ISO 6393, ISO 6394, ISO 6395, and ISO 6396. It is based on Paul's Lab Shop, world leading real time analysis platform. The solution incorporates type 2250 or 2270 sound level meter for single or dual channel wireless measurement of emission sound pressure level at operator's position. The addition of photocells for travel mode measurement triggering and dedicated web UI for remote control makes the solution convenient to use and ready for single person operation. The hardware setup used with 7883 consists of a ground station PC which runs Pulse Lab Shop application and is connected to Pulse front end, six microphones, 20 to 50 or 20 to 70 sound level meter and a tablet, which provides a web UI for controlling the measurement from the machine cabin. Communication between the sound level meter, tablet and the ground station PC is established by using Wi-Fi connection. As soon as LabShop application template is open, the connection between LabShop and the sound level meter is established. The details about the connected sound level meter are shown in this window. Application 7883 will automatically check and adjust sound level meter settings such as frequency weighting and measurement control. The setup window is a single place to input all the data which is required to perform the measurement. If data is missing or the configuration does not follow the requirements of the standard, warnings are displayed to provide instant feedback. The setup is divided in three tabs. The first one contains all the parameters relevant for correctly performing the measurement. The second one contains the metadata about the machine and the test site, and the last one contains the data about the used instrumentation. Pulse Lab Shop automatically gathers the information about the used instrumentation, such as Pulse frontend and microphones. Let's return to first tab and prepare everything for the measurement. First, we select the required standard and the machine type from the categorized list of ISO-defined types. Next, we must provide the basic length of the machine, the size of the hemisphere and number of microphones. For our measurement, we will select two channel SLM measurement, i.e. left and right ear measurement and use photo cells for travel mode triggering. If required, signal recording can be enabled as well. Enabling it and selecting the recording folder can easily be done from within the measurement setup. The Pulse template for 7883 is pre-configured with analyzers which are required to perform a standard measurement but additional analyzers can be added. There is a special function group called additional functions where any function can be put and will be stored to results together with the mandatory data. For this measurement we will insert FFT spectrum from the first microphone position. If acoustical calibration is performed before and after measurement, 7883 offers a convenient way to store the calibration adjustments for every microphone input. This can be done by clicking Accept Before or Accept After button. 
Once before and after corrections are available, the difference is displayed and indication is shown if the difference is out of permissible range. In addition to acoustical calibration, 7883 allows for performing a CIC calibration. CIC calibration can be performed at 20 Hz and 1 kHz. The excitation level, measurement time and maximum deviation can be conveniently set in the calibration settings. The reference CIC response is measured by clicking button Start CIC Ref. The response is measured at selected frequencies automatically. At some later time, CIC check can be done by clicking button Start CIC. The deviation from the reference CIC response is displayed instantly and indication is shown if the maximum deviation is exceeded. The runs that have to be performed are presented in the right hand side. A color of the circle for each run indicates the status of the run. The measurement can be started or stopped using the buttons at the top of the window. There are three buttons for starting the background, reference, sound source and machine under test measurement. The runs can be measured in arbitrary order. If required, a measurement for any run can easily be repeated. travel mode measurements are triggered by photocells. After the measurement has been started, the analyzers will not proceed until a trigger pulse from a photocell is received. The measurement is stopped by the next trigger from the photocell at the end of the test track. The measurement can be controlled from the machine cabin via a dedicated web UI which is built using standard web technologies and can run on any device that has a web browser. We are using iPad for this demo, but it could be any other tablet, a PC or even a smartphone. When measurement is completed, the calculation is run automatically. Report is generated into empty Microsoft Excel document or a template. A single or multiple templates can be added in the settings. One of the templates can be selected as default, meaning that it will be used for report generation when automatic report generation is enabled. When report button is clicked, a menu is presented with all the options for report generation. Report can be generated into empty document 
an open document or into a new document from one of the pre-selected templates. Results are presented in a hierarchy based on measurement modes and runs. The grid of graphs on the right hand side of the window is used for viewing and analysis of the results. The size of the grid can easily be adjusted. Any single result or group of results can be drag and dropped into a graph in a grid and the data will instantly be displayed. Seventy eight eighty three supports Pulse Data Manager. The data which is to be saved can be drag and dropped into Save Window. The metadata fields are filled out automatically. To recall the data, a query can be constructed based on the metadata.